Shantamapi Shuchiputra Atrasurupam Rupam Tasagraja Muripuri Maturi Nitya Parikai, eternal associates of Prabhupada, Sila Bhakti, Siddhanta, Thakur. 
and the Aphomite Pranam to my entire Sri Rupanuga Gaudiya Guru Parampara. And finally, I Aphomite Pranam to all my dear brothers and sisters, all Vaishnavas and Vaishnavis, Vanchakam, We are by the causes mercy of Sri Guru and Gauranga engaging in Hari Nam Sankirtan. Why? Sri Shukadeva Goswami said, Nirginam Manalo Yata. When you eat food, you chew it, it goes into your stomach, and then digestion takes place. This digestion, you don't have to think about it. Hmm? You don't do it consciously. You don't think, oh, some protein is there, release the enzymes, I have to deal with some carbohydrates over here. We don't, it goes on by itself. So in the same way, by engaging in Harinam Sankirtan, naturally, something is digested. What is that? Your Shukshma Sharir. <laughs> you have two bodies. One is this stool Sharia, gross physical body. And inside that, there is a very kind of messy place, <laughs> chaotic place. Mm -hmm. That is the sukshma subtle body, psychological body, mm -hmm. mind, intelligence, ego, and chitta, four parts of the psychological body. Mm -hmm. So in this, there are many sanskars impressions of many, many lives of sense gratification. Mm -hmm. There is ego. Who am I? Huh? Oh, my name is Robert. I am from the Czech Republic. Huh? My name is Marianella from Bolivia. Huh? Huh? Oh, quite bogus. This is not our identity, this is ahankara, ego. What relationship do you have with this body? Srila Vishnu Chakrachakur said, just like the Shashi Shringa, the relationship between the, of the, the horns of a rabbit with the rabbit. Have you seen the horns of a rabbit? Have you seen the horns? Horns. <laughs> have you seen? <laughs> no. Why? Because rabbits don't have horns. There's no such thing as rabbits' horns. So in the same way, Sri said, the relationship between you, the Atma, and this body is like the relationship between the rabbit and his horns. Nothing. 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 Understand? So you are shaking, oh, what is Prayer Gordian saying? I don't believe it. <laughs> so that's called Maya. Illusion. Illusion. Ahankara. Ahankara. I am this body. I am going here and there doing so many things. I am young and healthy and strong and handsome and intelligent. Oh my! Jivaya Sarupoi Krishna Nitya. Every living entity only has sambanda relation with Krishna. No sambanda at all with the Maya. But we have experienced this darkness of ignorance. So very kindly. 
Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come with this Harinam Sankirtan. Physical body is there. But the identification with the physical body comes from the subtle body. That is called Shukshma Shriya, or it's called Ling. Srila Bhakti Nautaku said, Lingo Bango Hoi Aneyase, Lingo Bango Hoi Aneyase, Jayo Jayo Harinamo, Chidanandam Ritadam, Paratatu Akshara Akaro, Paratatu Akshara Akaro. Oh, glories to Harinam. See Harinam Sakirtayana Ki. Akshara the supreme absolute truth, supreme reality. See, Krishna himself has taken the form of these syllables. Ha, Re, Krishna. Hare Krishna. Taking the form of these syllables, he has come. And by praying for the appearance of Nam, never think that you are chanting. Hmm? Who will eat the kid? I will eat the kid. Hmm. What do you think? Don't think you are chanting. Rupa Swami said, Narad Vinoj Jivana Suduri Nigriyas Maduri Pura Tom Krishna Nama Kamas Purane Rasena Rasane Sada. Oh Harinam, you who give life to the Vina of Narad Muni. Narad Muni. Vajay Bhina Radhikulana Name Name Yamari Urita Bhakata Gita Same Ami Yadhara Boreshi Khana The meaning is that when Narada Muni begins to sing Jai Jai Radha Raman, Jai Jai Radha Raman, the sweet names of Radha and Krishna in Vrindavan, then hmm, Narada Vinod's Jivana, hmm, Narada Muni's Vina begins to play by itself. This transcendental Vina. Narada doesn't have to do it. He just sings and the Vina starts Vina starts singing also. Hmm? Amiyadara Barishagana, and when the Sankirtan begins of the pure Vaishnavas, like Narad Muni, then it's as if it started to the torrential rain of Amrita, nectar. Amrita is very rare. All the demons and all the demigods together, and the four incarnations of Bhagavan have to come just to get one pot. Uh, and this nectar was the nectar of Swargalok. Mm. You drink this nectar, you become lusty like Indra. <laughs> <laughs> and start running after the wife of Gautam Rishi. Yeah? You drink this nectar and your good karma goes down. Mm? Because by doing karma, good karma, you go to heaven, you can drink it. So every time you have a sip, <sighs> your good karma is going down. <laughs> and you become lusty. So this nectar is not nectar. <laughs> but the Narahamrita, transcendental nectar, destroys all lust, destroys all karma, and drowns one in the ocean of loving service to Radha and Krishna in the Nikunjas of Vrindavan. So not one drop, not one part, but when Harinam Sankirtan begins, then Amiyadana Bharishikana. Torrential rain of nectar, <laughs> transcendental nectar coming from the sky. Hmm? Are you experiencing it? Hmm? Why? Hmm? Sitting in Kirtan and holding on to the Shukshma Sharia. Hmm? Holding on to the Shukshma Sharia, the subtle body. This Harinam Sankirtan is to digest completely. Prabhupada Bhaktisthan Sutakur said, we are doing bhakti. Why? To destroy our mind. No mind left. Digest it. <laughs> Finished. No mind. Huh? 
বাং লেঙ্গ বাং হয়ে আনে আছে শ্রীমদ <laughs> উপদেশি <laughs> 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 This is the most of Chaitanya Have you read Chaitanya Charitamrita? Fully. Read again and again. Chita Krishna Skarvel Goswami Pari said, Suru Yatam Suru Yatam Nityam Giyatam Giyatam Mudha Chintyatam Chintyatam Bhaktas Chaitanya Charitam Mrita Listen, listen. Mm-hmm. Nitya, continuously, every day. Gia Tam Gia Tam. Sing, sing with great joy. Muda. Chintya Tam, Chintya Tam. Bhaktas, all Bhaktas, all devotees. Meditate. Deeply, deeply meditate. Chaitanya Charitam Rita. On Chaitanya Charitam Rita. In my life, I had the good fortune to have a association of very high level Vaishnavas. My whole life, since I was very young. And I saw, when they were just about to leave this world, if you ask, what should I do? Oh, they told me the same. Read Chaitanya Charitamrita. Our Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhanta Thakur, he said, if there's a catastrophe, like an earthquake or tsunami, and you have to leave your home and run for your life, then just grab Bhagavad Gita Srimad Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Charitamrita. You don't need anything else. <laughs> uh-huh. But if the water is getting higher and higher, and you cannot hold on to them, <laughs> then you can let the Bhagavad Gita go. <laughs> uh-huh. But if the situation gets very desperate, the water is up to here now, <laughs> and you cannot swim, hmm? so it's very difficult. It's hard to say, it breaks, breaking my heart actually. But you let go, Srimad Bhagavatam. But don't let go, Chaitanya Chaitanya. <laughs> Why? Because if Srimad Bhagavatam is lost on the basis of Chaitanya Chaitanya Rita, then you can revive all the nectar of Srimad Bhagavatam. But if Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita is lost on the basis of the Bhagavatam, you will not find the secrets, the nectar, the Bhakti Vasara, which is there in Chaitanya Charitamrita. You will not be able to revive it again. In the beginning of Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, there, the Krishnas Karvaj Goswami is quoting from the Kadacha, that means the notes of Swarup Dhamada Goswami, explaining the ontology of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <coughs> Radha Krishna Pranaya Vikriti Jhadini Shakti Asmad Ekat Manavati Bhuvi Pura Deha Vedam Gatoto Chaitanya Khyam Prakatham Maduna Tantoyam Chakyam Aaptam 
radha bhav duty subalitam mo nomi krishna swarupa who is radhika radha is krishna pranaya vikriti the transformation pranay means love but especially it means the empathy pranay is that level of prem with love and the love of you that my body and your body are one my heart and your heart are one my mind and your heart are one my senses and your senses are one there's a vishwa strong confidence this go pranay the empathy the sympathy for the feeling of another one day krishna was sitting on the bank of the moon he was thinking i give joy to a whole universe but who can give joy to me who can give happiness to me so krishna was feeling sorry for himself so much sympathy for himself and when he was thinking who will give joy who will give happiness to me then uh, from his own heart manifest the beautiful kishori from the left side you see that because he was on krishna left <laughs> because closer to his heart which side is your heart <laughs> and the left side <clears throat> it's to remind you of this <clears throat> the love comes from radhika krishna's loving potency comes from the left side and that kishori krishna looked and saw ha ah, everything i could ever want everything i could possibly imagine and all my dreams have come true in the form of this kishori and even all joy and all desires even beyond my imagination on there and she ran towards him impelled by deep love so deep love is called rag and she ran she runs is in sanskrit dhavati so because ra impelled by ra the deep love dha dhavati she ran towards krishna so her name is radha krishna tak samanle radha tak samanle so radha krishna ache sada ek hi swarup lila ras ashodi te dare duhe rup radha and krishna are one swarup one nature but they have two forms for the sake of tasting the ras the mellows of their past times so he is so damodara swami pari say that chaitanya Chaitanya Kham Prakatam Madhuna Tadvayam Chaitya Maktam Krishna is one but his ladini shakti pleasure potency manifested separately in the form of radha but now these two forms have again become one but this time there's a difference the difference is when radha krishna were two Krishna was the uh, Rasa Vishai, the object of all the Rasa. And Radhika was the Rasa Ashray. So Krishna is the object of love and Radhika is the abode of love. But now these two have again become one and now Krishna is experiencing what it's like to be the Rasa Ashray. the shelter of love for himself because krishna is famous by the name of rasik shekar the relish of all rasa but brindavan bihari shri krishna is not full rasik shekar is only half rasik shekar because he relishes the half of rasa which is uh, the object of love is entitled but the rasa which the abode of love is entitled to he does not know So if some people believe in Krishna but not in Chaitanya Mahaprabhu So then we have to tell them oh, your Krishna is only half rasik shekar If you really believe that Krishna is fully rasik shekar then Krishna must have a form in which he does not relish half of the rasa but all of the rasa The other half and that is 
Rahabhav Juki Subaritam Nomi Krishna Swarupam. There is Krishna Swarup, one form of Krishna, which is decorated with the golden complexion of Shimati Radhika and filled with bhav, the ecstatic love of Radhika. Radha Bhava Juti Suvalitam Nomi Krishna Swarupam. Hmm? Just like yesterday we're in Berlin. And there was a drama of Falvi Krini, Krishna and the Food Seller. So the little girl who was playing Krishna came and gave me a mango. But this mango wasn't fully ripe, it was dark. So mangoes, when they're not fully ripe, they're dark. But when they become ripe, they become golden. So in the same way, the Prema Rasa in Krishna, in Sham Sundar, not fully ripe. And when Krishna himself realizes all the depth of the love of Radharani, then the praying rasa is ripe and Krishna becomes golden. Now the rasa is bhakka. Krishna is little kacha. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Krishna himself. He has come to realize the frame of Radhika and incidentally distribute <coughs> Radha Dasya, the service of Radhika, to all the living entities. So Sri Krishna, he said, Apani kai mo bhakt bhavayan kai Apani achari bhakti shikamu savari Apinan kaila dharma sikana nayai Krishna said, I will appear in this world in the mood of a devotee and I will show everyone how to practice devotional service by my own example. Hmm? Because if you give a teaching to someone but you yourself, you're not practicing, your words will have no power. Hmm? You have a gun but you have only blank bullets. You are speaking, bang, 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 but nothing happened. <laughs> Shooting a bang, but when we are practicing ourselves, then when we speak, our words go in the heart and change others. So Krishna was thinking, I came in this world, I told everyone, Sarva Dharma Parichadya, Male Kam Shanam Braja, everyone, leave all Dharma, surrender to me. But who is listening? <laughs> I myself, I never did it. <laughs> eh? So I have to come as a devotee. Then when I do it, everyone will listen to me. <laughs> when I say this, they will listen. <laughs> so, one should hear the nectar of Gora Lila. And in this Gura Lila, all Krishna Lila will come. Chaitanya Lila Amrita Krishna Lila Sukarpu Duyam Lili Hoi Sumadur Duyam Lili Hoi Sumadur Sadhu Guru Prasade Tarade Ashwade Sehijane Madhurya Prachurya Krishna Skavras Goswami He said that Gora Lila is like condensed milk like a rubbery very delicious. And Krishna Lila is like camphor, karpur. And if you put some camphor in the condensed milk, then it becomes so sweet. So, in this way, Sadhu Guru Prasade, by the mercy of Guru Dev, by the mercy of pure sadhus only, they cause us to experience this mixture of Krishna Lila and Gora Lila. And those who taste it, say Jani, Madhurya Prachur, only they come to realize the Prachur, abundant sweetness. Mm. 
When our sweet Satyanandan Gauri was staying in Jagannath Puri, every day he used to go to the ocean to take bath. He used to go to the Jagannath temple to take darshan. He used to come back to Kashi Mishra Bhavan, a small room there, the Gambira. He used to honor prasadam. Every day his life was very regulated. But internally, he was completely absorbed in Radha Krishna's pastimes. Mm-hmm. This is the example. Mapu is showing us by his own example. What it means <coughs> to do bhajan. He's giving the example here. Kumare no chokate no sotata firai. If a potter wants to make a pot, then first of all he takes the big stone, the big round stone, and, and, and starts to get the stone spinning around. So then once it's spinning, it's heavy, once it starts going, then he can let go. And he can put his clay there and two hands are free, he can make the pot and the wheel is turning by itself. Mm-hmm. So bhajan is like that. Snana Dharashana Bhajan Deyaswabhai. How Mahaprabhu was waking up, taking baths, going to the temple, taking prasada. It was like the turning of the potter's wheel. Deyaswabhav. It was going on by itself, outwardly. And inside. His hands are free to be absorbed in the remembrance of Radha Krishna's Vrindavan Lila. This is bhajan. Hmm. So the Shukshma Sharia, Ling Sharia, Linda Bhang must be dissolved. There are some few sanskars just left in the chitta by which the body is, gets up and walks around and goes here and there, takes a shower. <laughs> <laughs> takes rest, goes to the bathroom, <laughs> like the body is going, but inside, always oh, remembering Astakali Lila, 24 hours a day and serving. <laughs> this is Bhaja, Mahapu has shown by his own example. One morning, he went to the party of Lord Jagannath, and there, he came and leaning on the Garuda Stamba, he did not see Baladeva and Subhadra. He just saw Jagannath. And looking, <coughs> even he did not see Jagannath like this with short arms and feet. He saw Shama Sundar. Mm-hmm. You are not a deity, you are directly the son of Nanda Maharaj. Yeah. And Mahaprabhu was drinking the beauty of the Krishna in Vrindavan. Just then one old lady, she was too short, she could not see over the crowd. So she started to climb up the people to try to see and she climbed up Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and stood on his shoulder. And then the servant of Mahaprabhu, Govinda, he came and grabbed her, he said, hey, Adivasi, he said, hey, no, sorry. He said, hey, get down, get down, what are you doing? And pulled her down. Then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came out from his vision, his trance of vision of the beauty of Vrindavan and told Govinda, hey, what are you doing? You are Adivasi. That means like Aborigine, uncultured, uncivilized person. What kind of jungle person are you? You have no civilization of customs or etiquette. Why did you take her down? That lady was embarrassed because she never thought I'm climbing on a sannyasi. She just wanted, she was just eager to see Lord Jagannath. <laughs> yeah? And she gave pranam to Mahapur, I'm sorry, please forgive me. <laughs> Mahapur said, oh, I would be very fortunate if I had eagerness like you. <laughs> I want to have eagerness to see Krishna like you. <laughs> then Mahapur went back to the Gandhira, to Kashi, the house of Kashi Mishra, the guru of King Prashpur, the Maharaj. He was there, 
He was with his close associates. So Damada and Radhamananda. Mahaprabhu is Krishna. He is trying to realize Radhika's mood. So how can he realize Radhika's mood without the help of Lalita and Vishaka? So Lalita has become so Damada Goswami and Vishaka has become Ramananda, right? They've come to help Krishna in this area. Now, since the, the vision of Mahaprabhu was broken by that incident, he was feeling so much separation. And keeping his arms around his associates, he opened his heart and began to speak. Saundaryam huh? sindhu bhangalamena Chittasya samplavaka kana nandi sanama ramme vachanam ko tindu sita nika soda bhyam ritas samplavaraka jagat piyu sharam yadara sago gopendra suta sakashiti balat panchindriya nyalime. Speaking in the mood of Radharani, he said, ah, the chitta, the consciousness, of us gopis of Vrindavan is huge, very high and immovable like a mountain. But the beauty of Krishna has such high waves. Can you imagine that such a tidal wave will come that it will cover the Himalayas? The waves of Krishna's beauty are like that. And the consciousness of us Brahmi gopis, though high like a mountain, becomes submerged completely in the Saundarya, Saundarya Amrita, the nectar of Sri Krishna's beauty. Hmm? And we hear the sweetness of his words. Hmm? Radhika is walking with Lalita. Lalita said, be careful, that very dangerous boy is coming. Don't talk to him. Durtei bhajan vetanayei tanushushta bhame maab dakshina bhava kalantini. O Kalankini, Radhika? O Kalankini, Radhika. You know Kalankini? <laughs> Listen to my advice. Krishna is a rogue, he is a cheater. Don't look at him, don't be submissive to him. I am telling you this, it's for your benefit. Listen to me, I have experience. Lalita is more experienced than Radha. She's older. <laughs> 27 days older. <laughs> She can give advice to Radhika. <laughs> so Radhika is trying to be calm and control herself. But when Krishna comes and says, Oh, only seeing your face, the moon uh, became ashamed and thought, I am not beautiful. So he went to do tapasa to the forest on the bank of the Ganges. Where the hair of Lord Shiva is Jata is like a forest. And the Ganges is flowing there on the head of Lord Shiva. And the moon is there also. So Krishna said, but the moon in the hair of Lord Shiva is thin. So Krishna said, the moon has become thin, doing austerities in the forest on the bank of the Ganja, on Ganges, on the head of Lord Shiva. In doing austerities to become as beautiful as your face. Hmm? Radhani is trying to be serious, but hearing this, she cannot control us. Oh, oh, Saki, help me. Help me. Holding the hand of the Help me. I cannot. Hmm? Oh, Lalita, you taught me 100 ways how to frown. How to frown. You know frowning? With eyebrows like this? Mm. Frowning means when the eyebrows go, it means you're angry when your eyebrows go like this. Mm. Radhika said, oh Lalita, you taught me 100 different ways of frowning. <laughs> I practiced them in front of a mirror. <laughs> but now Krishna has come and the nectar of his words goes in my ear. I've forgotten all of these ways. <laughs> And the touch of Sri Krishna is more cooling than millions of moons. 
So we have Yamrita, Samprabhavata Jagat, and the fragrance of Krishna's body, which is like a mixture of um, Aguru, Ud, Aguru, Chandan, Sandhuud, um, Kamfa, and um, Blue Lotus Flower, and Kunkum. Mixed together. If you can imagine how fragrant that is. Krishna's natural fragrance is more beautiful than that. Yeah. And when Gopi smells that fragrance, it goes in and she can never forget it. It's as if the whole universe has become pervaded. Wherever she goes, Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. And the nectar of she Krishna's lips mm. is incomparable. Yeah, so Radharani said, I looked at Krishna and when I saw him, I fainted in ecstasy. Why? Because what is the function of your mind? The function of your mind is prioritizing your perceptions. You see? If you are looking at something, Someone's talking to you, you're watching something, but you don't hear them. Your ears are open, but you don't hear what they... Oh, excuse me, what did you say? Eh? Well, I'm talking and you're listening. Eh? But then someone comes and you look over there, and then you don't hear. So, the mind has the function in Nyai Shastra of giving priority to one sense or another sense. What you're looking at, or what you're listening to, or what you're tasting, or smelling. So the, that's what the mind does, it prioritizes attention on one sense at a time. But Radharani is saying that Krishna is so beautiful that his beauty was catching all of my senses at the same time and pulling them towards him. Sago Sago Pendra Sago Pendra Sakarshati Balat by force. That means by force. His beauty was grabbing all five of my senses and dragging them towards him. And so my mind was like a horse with five riders sitting on the back trying to ride the horse in five different directions at the same time. And what happened then? The poor horse collapsed. So in the same way, my senses were pulling my mind in five directions at the same time, so I think. This is how Radhika experiences the beauty of Krishna. Hmm? And now Krishna in, was in the mood of Radhika when he came to the Jagannath and looked at the Jagannath and had Dasha. This is what happened to him. Because he's experiencing Radha Bhava Juti Suvalitam Monomi Krishna Sarupa. When you have Darshan of Krishna, do you experience this? This is Darshan. This is what it means, Darshan. Mahaprabhu is showing by his own example, Apani Karimu Bhakta Bhava Anitari, Apani Achari Bhakti. I will show you what is real Bhakti. How to practice, how to live the life of Bhajan. So when Mahaprabhu came back from the temple to the Gandhira, he sat with his two friends, Swam Yamda and Rai Ramananda, and he was opening his heart and saying this. <clears throat> Later, with his associates, he went out to walk in the gardens along the shore of the ocean in Jagannath Puri. Uh, in those days, it was not so urbanized. And there were many old gardens around, along the ocean, all around the, now the, what is the city of Akul, where Herdas Thakur was staying. It was the beach and many flower gardens and beautiful trees. And Mahaprabhu was walking through there. What happened? Payura seis purat Upavanali Kalanaya Muhu Brindaranya Smarana Janita Prima Vivasha Kochit Krishna Varti Prachala Rasano Bhakti Rasika Sachitanya Kimi Punara Piti Shoya Shati Badam Rupa Goswami was there, he saw it. And he has described what happened. He said, when Mahaprabhu saw the gardens on the shore of the ocean, 
He thought the ocean was Yamuna. He thought that the gardens were Vrindavan and became Prema Vivosh. That means helpless, completely overwhelmed by Prem. Bonadeki Bamahoe, A Brindavan, Shaladeki Manahoe, A Govatan, Yahanadi de Kitaha, Mone Kolindi, Mahaprema Veshi Provin, Nachi Pore Kande, Krishna's Karaj Goswami Pad said, When Mahaprabhu would see a forest, it was Udipana. That means that which inflames your love, Udipana. And so it struck his heart and he began to have his sporty division of Vrindavan. When he saw a hill like a Chatak Parvat, it was Udipana, inflamed his heart, and he began to have this sporty division of Yajiraj Govardhan. When he saw a river or the ocean, he thought it was Kalindi. Maha Premarish and became absorbed in great praying, Nachi Pariyakande, and he would dance and sing and fall on the ground and become unconscious. Hmm? It looks like unconscious, but he's becoming actually more conscious. Even. <laughs> huh? Because he's entering into the Vrindavan. He's becoming more conscious of Vrindavan. You know? hmm? So as Mahaprabhu was walking through the garden, he saw the various flowers and trees. And it reminded him. Because he was feeling separation from Krishna. He was searching. Kaha Mora Pranunato Murali Bada Kaha Karo Kaumpa Brajendra Nanda Kohore Kohiba Kebo Jani Mora Duko Brajendra Nanda Nabino Pati Mora Buka where is the son of Nanda Maharaj who plays upon his flute? Where can I go? What can I do to find him? O oh, Saki, to whom can I speak and express the extent of my disappointment? Without the son of Nanda Maharaj, my heart is breaking. So in this way, in separation, Mako was wondering. And he began to speak to the trees and to the flowers. Where is Krishna? Where is Krishna? And he became absorbed. At this moment, he was not absorbed in Radha Bhav. He was absorbed in Saki Bhav. The mood of the Sakis, the friends of Radhika. Why? Because Krishna has promised, I will come to this world, I'll teach Bhakti by my own example. So if you'll only be always in Radha Bhav, then how will he teach you? Because you cannot be Radha Bhav. Mm. We have a possibility to be a Nitya Saki. Nitya Saki of Radhika. Mm. Among them, they are, there are the Manjiris. Rupa Manjiri, Ratimakta, mm. Lapanga Manjiri, Mani Manjiri. They are the Nitya Sakis. So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he is teaching by his own example. Now he is not in Radhika's mood, he is in the mood of Sakis. But during the Rasa Lila, when Krishna disappeared from the Raslia, taking Radharani with him. So in the heart of Radhika, in the, the heart of Mahaprabhu, he is thinking, where is Krishna? Hmm? Oh, Krishna has taken Radharani. And Mahaprabhu, to teach us, is in the mood of a Saki of Radhika, looking here and there. Krishna, Krishna, Mahaprabhu began to sing the verses of Srimad Bhagavata. He said, Chuta Priyal Pasanasana Kovidar Jambaka Bilva Bakalam Rakadamba Nipa Yene Parata Bhavata Yamanu Pukula Sankshantu Krishna Padavim Brahita Tanam Naha Moonlit Night in the Sharad season. The Rasa dance had begun, but mysteriously Krishna has disappeared. Gopis have become mad and talking to the trees. 
Chuta o mango tree. Chuta. Pasanasana tree. Covid tree. Jambab, jambak belva. Jambu tree. That means rose apple tree. Have you seen Krishna? Even Arka. Arka is a very small plant with no uh, fruits or anything. It shows the humility of God. They're even asking the whole Arka plant, please help us. <laughs> Have you seen Krishna? Because Yamano Pakula, you are all sadhus. Because you live on the bank of Jamuna. Sadhu does Dambas, lives in a holy place. <laughs> so you trees, you are all sadhus living on the bank of Jamuna. And the sadhus are very kind. And you trees are very tall also, you can look for a long distance. <laughs> we cannot see. So please be kind to us and tell us. Where did Krishna go? Because Krishna has stolen our hearts and we have to find him to get our heart back. So Mahaprabhu was speaking to the trees like this and completely absorbed in the mood of a sati. But the trees did not give an answer. Why? Because the trees, hmm, Brikshava, they are male. They are male. So then the Sakis were thinking, any man cannot understand that soft heart of a woman. You see these trees are so big but fruit is so small. That means they are not very generous. Hmm? And they are male, they don't understand what pain we are feeling. Hmm? So we should not ask them. And then hmm, the Saki saw Tulsi. So let's ask her, she's female. And she was there, right? Remember? Yes. <laughs> Gopi said, Kajit Tulasi Kalyani, Govinda Charna Priye, Sahatali Kula Vibrat, Dushastate Priyachuta. Oh Tulsi, you are very dear to Govinda. Always on his lotus feet. And he is wearing a garland made of your manjuris also. So please tell us, have you seen him? You tell us where he went. But silence, no answer. Sakis thought, oh, what does she know about separation? Yeah? She doesn't know, she's always on the feet of Krishna. <laughs> She's on his chest in the form of garland. So though she's female and she's kind, but she doesn't know the pain of separation because Tosi is always on the feet of Krishna. And also, by the touch of Krishna, she's in so much ecstasy, she cannot hear what we're saying. <laughs> so she cannot help us. So just then, yeah, gopis were going further into the forest. This is what? Chaitanya Leela Muritapur, Krishna Leela Su, Sukarpur, Krishna Leela and Gora Leela mixed together. On one hand, the Gora, Krishna is in Sakiba wandering through the garden in Puri and saying these verses of Srimad Bhagavatam. And internally he is experiencing, I am a Saki, I'm searching for Krishna. Sumadur, extremely sweet. So then Mahabhu, or we can say the Sakis, they said, Apyena patyap agata priyayeva katrais Tanvandrisham sakisu nebrita achatova Kantanga sanga kuchu kumkuma Ranjitaya kula kundastraja kulapate apivati gandaha the gopi saw one female deer in the forest. Female deer, you know, like a bambi. Yeah? So, the gopi like saw one female deer and said, Oh! To each other, Saki, look! This deer must have seen Krishna walking this way with his beloved. 
with Radhika. Why? Because the deer has very big eyes and dilated pupils. You know? If someone is in ecstasy, if someone takes drugs or anything, then the eyes become like this. Huh? So seeing the big eyes of the deer, then the Sakis and the Manjuis of Radhika, they think, they must have seen Radha and Krishna. Why? Because when the Manjuis look at Radha and Krishna, they become intoxicated like that. <laughs> Drinking the <baby. laughs> So Sarva Bhuteshu Yapasya Bhava Matmanaha It is said those who are Maha Bhagavat they see their own mood in everyone else. They think I have no love but they think everyone else loves in the same mood that they have the love. So seeing the big eyes you know the deer in the forest they eat these herbs that make them intoxicated. Uh, so there is uh, very big eyes. But because they see their own love in the deer they're thinking, look at the big eyes of this deer. Must have ah, drank the sweetness of Radha and Krishna. Eh? The deer can help us. Hmm? Why? Because they know that this female deer, they are married. But, Danyasma Mudagati Upi Arinya Ita Yananda Nanda Upatta Vichitta Vesham Akana Vena Rahitam Sar Krishna Sara. Pujam the dobu ratitam pranayava loka. Nine chapters early in Srimad Bhagavatam, gopis are saying, just look, when Krishna plays his flute, then the, the female deer, they leave their husbands and they go to Krishna. But they're so lucky the husbands are not upset. <laughs> If our husbands might see us going to Krishna, they will beat us with a stick. So, Danyasma Mudagatyo. The deer are very, very fortunate. And the deer also Mriganayani. That Mriga means deer, and gopis are called Mriganayani. They have big eyes like deer. So, because they have similar eyes, and because they're thinking these deer are like us in Parakya Rasa. The deer are like us in Parakya. They run away from their husbands to go to Krishna. So the deer are like our sakis. So this deer can help us. So the gopis saw the deer and the deer was looking towards them and then looking this way. And looking towards them and looking this way. One of the manjuis said, Saki, the deer is going to help us. <laughs> Follow that deer. <laughs> so then the deer was trotting along into the forest. And the Manjumis were following him. So then they got to a particular, the deer stopped at one kunj. And then those Sakis thought, perhaps ah, Radha Krishna were there in this kunj. And then suddenly the deer looked around and sprang away. You know, they're very fast. Disappeared into the darkness of the forest. <coughs> one Saki said, Ah, Krishna must have told that deer, I am going in this kunj to enjoy my pastimes with Radharani, don't tell anyone. Mm -hmm. But now this deer, out of kindness to us, has brought us to the kunj where Radha and Krishna were meeting. Now the deer became afraid <laughs> that, oh, if Krishna knows that I brought you, I'll be in trouble, so I have to go. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> and that they are going to run away. <laughs> uh -huh. So, Kandanga Sangha Kunchukumkama Ranjitaya Kundasraja Kulapate Apivati Ganda. So, the gopis came close to that kunch. And one gopi could smell the fragrance. Kandanga Sangha Kuchukumkama Ranjitaya means. The Radharani decorates her chest with kumkum. The mm, kesha, the pollen of flowers, very red and very fragrant. And so when she embraces Sri Krishna, then this kumkum becomes mixed, rubbed onto the garland of Krishna. Mm. So first the gopi smells. Ah, Radhika was here, I can smell the fragrance of her kumkum. 
Then another sadhi said, I can smell the fragrance of the kunda flowers in Krishna's garland. So gopis, they have very, very elevated senses. You know? If you smell, in, in Vrindavan there are many white flowers. Uh, Malati, Madhavi, Molasri, Kunda, there are many different types of white flowers and small, but they all have slightly different fragrance. Uh? So if you smell the fragrance, you may not be able to detect which flower it is. But gopis can not only detect what type of flower it is, but from the smell they can tell whether this flower is on the bush. Remember, Vrindavan is full of flowers everywhere. Right? But their nose is also sensitive. They can tell whether this flower is on the bush or whether this flower has been picked and separated from the bush. And so it's in a garden. Hmm? So then, the gopis could tell the fragrance that this was a kunda flower which was not on the bush and it was mixed with the fragrance of chapusam, the four substances that we mentioned before that Krishna's body is fragrance is like plus fifth one is a blue lotus and this was mixed together and they could smell that fragrance and then they could smell the fragrance of Radhika's kumkum and the fragrance of Krishna's garland together so as the gopis were taking that apivati ganda means oh Saki, on the breeze the fragrance is coming kantanga sanga kuchi kunkumaranjitaya kundasraja kulapate apivati ganda and they smell and when they smell the fragrance of radhika they had spurti because it's udipana remember we were explaining Udipana, when something connected with Krishna or Radhika touches, it causes a sporty vision. Hmm? So by the Udipana of the fragrance of Radhika, in separation of Sakis in their heart, they saw Radhika. So beautiful. And then when they smelt the fragrance of Krishna's garland of Kunda flowers, it was Udipana and they had the sporty, the vision of Krishna. And then they smell the fragrance of Radhika's kumkum and Krishna's garland mixed together. They're smelling both fragrances at the same time. Mm -hmm. And as they smell this fragrance, they had this purity, the vision of Radha and Krishna embracing. That means the kumkum is mixing now with the fragrance of his garland. Now mixing is of two types. One type of mixing is called Shankar Bhav. Hmm? You know? Like Shankar Acharya, everything mixes. <laughs> everything becomes one. <laughs> so Shankar, Shankar Bhav is also called, hmm, in logic, Nirachir Nyay. The logic of Nirachir, water and milk. So if you get water and milk and you pour them together, now you cannot see the difference. Hmm? So that's why in Vrindavan they can cheat you <laughs> by selling you the watered down milk in Vrindavan. You have to be careful. Even say, I want to see your milk of the cow. So look at milk the cow in front of you, but they already put water in the bucket. <laughs> if the next day you go say, I want to look in the bucket first, huh? then they, by injection, they inject the, the water into the other of the cow before the milk. So once the milk and the water is mixed together, <laughs> you cannot see it. It's not visible to you. That's called Shankar Bhav. The logic of the milk and the water. And the other type of mixing is called um, Samavai Bhav. Samavai Bhav. And this logic is called Kyo Tando Nyai. The logic of rice and sesame seed. Rice is white and sesame seed is white. If you mix them together in a bowl, then they mix together, it's hard to see. But if you look closely, you can say, oh, this is rice and this is a sesame seed. So they're mixed, but still you can detect the difference. Mm -hmm. So that is called the Samavai Bhav or Kyotandu Nyai. So when the bread's gopis 
they're searching, searching for Radha and Krishna. The deer bought them there, then ran away. Then smelling the fragrance of Radhika, they saw the sport of Vrishabhamunandini. And then smelling the fragrance of the garland of Krishna, they had the vision of Sri Krishna. And then smelling the fragrances mixed together, first in Samavai Bhav, they had the vision of Radha Krishna embracing. Mm-hmm. In their Nikunja Vilas. And then the fragrances fully mixed together into the Shankar Bhav. And the gopis had sporty of Goranga. Mm-hmm. That is Goranga. So, great acharyas, they have this experience. First, they are engaged in Nam Sankirtan, loud Sankirtan. And mind is destroyed. Then they experience a great light. And in that light, they see Radha and Krishna. And they begin to realize that this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra is none different from Radha Krishna's Vrindavan Nikunji Vilas. And then when the Kirtan goes very deep, then they see Radha Krishna become and his Goranga Mahaprabhu Shri Chaitanya So never see any difference between this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, between Hare Nam Sankirtan and Radha Gopinas Nikunj Vilas and the Leela of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sadhu Guru Prasade Chare Ye Ashwade by the mercy of Guru and by the mercy of Sadhus, those who taste the mixture of this Gauralila and Radha Krishna, only they come to know the abundant sweetness of praying. So then, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he saw some trees that were bowing down with the weight of their fruit. And another verse of Srimad Bhagavatam came in his heart. Bahu Priyans Upadaya Grihita Padmo Raman Jatu Rasikali Kula Madandahe and Vi Amana Apivas Taravo Pranamam Kimbabi Nanda Ticharan Pranayava Lokai. Now in, he is absorbed in the mood of the Sakis and seeing Radha Krishna's Leela. Their union is, pastime is now over and they got up and they're going for a walk in the forest. Now, the Sakis have not found Radha and Krishna, but only the Uddipanas are giving them the experience of the Lila. Understand? In separation. Because, Radha Krishna Pranamura Yuga Jeeva ne marani gati arahi mura Dhatandas Thakur, the incarnation of a Champak Manjari. For such Manjaris, such Nitya Sakis of Radhika, the meeting of Radha Krishna is their life and so it is their everything. And so when they are searching, the Udipana of the forest of Vrindavan is giving them the visions of Radha Krishna, Milan. Jaya Jaya Radha Krishna Yugala Milan. So now Mahaprabhu is experiencing this. Why? To teach us. Because this is our heart's desire to attain that position of Radha Krishna. So seeing the trees bowing down. Then, what Mahaprabhu said? To explain tomorrow. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.